Hi guys, um, so this video, as you can tell by the title, is a um, tutorial, is a hair tutorial, and um, it's a tutorial for my um, uh, hair straightener curls. Um, I was asked to do a tutorial, um, and um, I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. So. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's helpful. And um, you might be wondering what is moving here. And it is my little, my kitten. His name is Harry. Hi, Harry. Say hi. Hi. He's kind of ugh, squirmy and likes to bite. As you can see, he's wanting to bite me. He's he's camera shy. Huh? Huh? Anyways, put him back there. Um. So I just hope you guys like this video. And um. Yeah, these are the curls that uh, the tutorial will be showing. This is the final product, so um, stick around to see how how I got them and how you can get them too. Okay, guys, so now it's time to um, get into the curling process and. Um, Make sure that before you start curling your hair, if you have washed your hair or showered, that you um, uh, have your hair completely dried before curling your hair. Um, so the first thing we want to do is split your hair down the middle in the back. And it doesn't have to be perfect unless you want it to be perfect, then you might want to use like a comb, but I don't. So I just roughly split it in half. And then um, with your clips, uh, clip half of your hair, um, whichever half you want. I always um, start curling my left half, so that is why I clip my right half. And then also estimating. Um, you're gonna work your hair you're gonna work with your hair in um, three parts. So split your hair again and I'll as I said, estimating, um, and leaving one third of your left half down. And, well, I think I left a little too much. And two thirds of it pinned up with a clip, like so. And you kind of want to make sure. Um, the two-thirds of your left half are like on your other side so they don't get mixed in with um, the hair you are curling. So first off um, I just want to quickly explain without using my hair without actually curling it um, explain how I um, curl it. So with this straightener I figured out that um, on my left half, I start with I always start with um, my straightener my straightener's back facing um, the mirror. So as I'm looking at the mirror um, and about to curl my hair, I always make sure that the back is facing, and I that when I look at the mirror, I only see the back. Um, so first off, you want to um, take it as if you were straightening your hair like this and um, you can start curling your hair at half point or just curl the ends or start at the top it's whatever you want to do um, I always tend to like also split um, my hair the, like the strand of hair I grab um, I always like to also split it in thirds and I start at like um, at the one third mark or two thirds, whatever you want to call it. But I usually always start about here. Um, so, just for this straightener, I always like to um, keep that in mind that whenever I'm doing my left um, half, I always see the back. Um, and then, so you want to go down, and when you ever you want to start the ugh, <laughs> whenever you want to start um, curling your hair, you have to completely. Um, twist and have the front side or the opposite side um, of the straightener towards the mirror and then you want to go down. Um, you want to apply a bit of pressure pressure, or you know just make sure you 
press it down so you can um, hold your hair in place. So now I am going to start um, th with this hair strand and they don't have to be even. Um, just don't grab too much hair but not too little either. So as I said, the back uh, facing the mirror and then you want to start straightening and then completely twist and then just slide down like so. And then at first it might look like it's like coming out weird but once you fix it, it pretty much comes out curled. So I'm just going to keep doing this to my whole side. Um, so now I have all my hair curled, and um, if you want to go back and recurl some uh, of your curls, you can. Um, as you can see, kind of like this, these bangs are a little bit more curly than over here. 
So if I want to, I can go in and recurl like this. So now they're a little bit more curled and you can take other strands and just recurl. So, um, if you want to, like, lean to one side and, and check your hair and see if you've missed a strand or two, then you can do that. If you haven't, um, and if all your hair is perfectly curled, um, then for me, my next step would be um, applying the gel. And I don't, I don't apply too much, just about this much oh it's sliding down um so I work it in both hands and then I just kind of apply it by bouncing the curls kind of like this um so after I have applied the gel I am now going to use my teasing comb and um, I'm just going to take some sections and kind of tease in there for extra volume. Now I don't want it super high, so I just kind of tease. I just mainly do it because I want a little bit of volume, but mostly kind of messiness. Um, so just kind of tease some here and there. And then I just take a little bit of my bottom curls and tease up towards my head. So there's more volume in your hair. Um, so now, before I like fix it, I add some spray. So not too much, just a little. And then just make sure. And now I kind of fix it up a little. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, it's nothing too complicated. Uh, it's really, the finished product is all up to you if you want it messy. And then it just kind of mix it, um, mix. I fix whatever um, I want to. And um, it's just messy curls. Uh, so um, if you try this out, make sure to comment and tell me how it goes or if you need any help. Um, and if there's any other requests, just comment as well. Um, I'd love it if you would like this video and subscribe. And um, I hope you all have a great day. So that's pretty much it. Bye, guys.